Welcome to episode 18 of the 16 foot long Brockway skiff build. We have reached a real milestone. The exterior is done and it is time to flip the boat over and work on the interior. This episode documents the rollover process I employed. As usual, I decided to use the quarter scale model of this boat to work out the engineering. I find models when you're building a, a variant of a boat you've built before and you've made enough a lot of changes to it or it's a brand new boat for you, it is always good to build a model. You can learn so much from the model. And I hope I've proven that to you uh, during this video series. The forward gantry here, right here, simulates my garage door opening. And this aft gantry simulates an overhead beam I have installed between two vertical posts that exist in the garage. I plan to begin by hoisting the bow by the stem. During my head scratching, my wife caught me playing with my toys on the garage floor. <laughs> she's, she never knows what she's going to find when she comes out to the garage. Okay, back to this very serious engineering. After all, do this wrong and the boat gets hurt. Do this really wrong and I get hurt. My plan is to control each corner of the boat. You can only pull you can only pull on a rope, you can't push on it. Therefore, two lines will be installed at each of the aft stern posts. The next step is to lift up on this corner with one vertical lifting line. So it's just a few inches above the floor. Then this horizontal control line will get lashed off over here. This prevents this corner from moving sideways when we start lifting diagonally on this corner to roll the boat up and over. Here is the other line. We attach this horizontal line similar to the other one lashed straight across. This is the control line. Then the remaining lifting line will be attached diagonally to force this corner up and over to the left. By pulling in on the diagonal line right here and letting out on this horizontal control line, we can control the rotation very smoothly. Without this control line, if you kept pulling on the diagonal line, the boat will reach a tipping point and then it would suddenly rotate and slam against these posts. So this control line is very important. Eventually the boat will be supported only by the line, the vertical lifting line at the bow, and the vertical lifting line on this port corner. Notice how the other lifting line has gone slack. Next we will loosen this control line and let the starboard corner slide on over to the right. And when I say slide, it's not sliding on the ground. At no point does the side of the boat touch the ground in this maneuver. So there it is with the control line that was lashed here let go. The boat is free to hang by these two lifting lines and I still have this control line attached. But we can remove it. So with that removed, all the horizontal control lines are no longer needed and the rollover can be completed with just the three lifting lines. There we go. Simple in theory. <clears throat> the beauty of this method is the boat never needs to be rolled over on its side, risking damage to our paint job. The boat can handle it structurally, no problem. But don't want to scuff up that nice yellow and black paint. 
Okay, enough practice and playing with toys. Let's do this for real. Here are the carts I will be setting the boat on. Initially, I installed a couple of 2x4s on the bigger cart here and here. I was going to straddle the 2x6 keel with the keel running this way across the cart and put these spacers on so that they would contact the bottom before the keel contacted the cart. However, in the end, I ended up rotating the cart 90 degrees and doubled up the 2x4s on one side only. You will see what I mean later. <clears throat> I threw the doormat uh, for the shop over the bigger cart to protect the bottom paint. Next I drilled a 1 inch diameter hole, you can see it here, 12 inches down from the edge of the transom. I did this through each stern post. I did the same at the bow, about 12 inches down the stem here. Here in the foreground, I have attached a 2x4 with four 4 inch long screws. One screw here, one here, one here, and one here. Then I installed this screw eye and a little hog ring. This will be the lifting point at the bow. Here is the overhead beam over the stern. I will use this chain to attach the chain hoist and I can slide this anywhere I want along the beam. The rope I used was 3 8 inch diamond braid rope with a 600 pound working load. This is the minimum I would recommend. Half inch rope would have been better. I cut each 100 foot length into three equal pieces, so I had six individual ropes about 33 feet long. Here is the bow suspended from its line, vertical lifting line here. I also added a control line here, but it was never needed. At the transom, here is the first lifting line right here and the control line is loosely in place. It's hard to tell, but this stern post is actually about a half inch off the ground. Here I have begun serious lifting on the diagonal lift line, which is right here, and the other control line is in place. I was just able to squeak by the garage door opener. Here is the boat, completely suspended. This looks very odd. I just had to take a picture. Um, I'm still having good control of the boat, and I had good control of the boat through the whole rollover. Um, just take your time and check everything twice. Go nice and slow. Here the boat is now sideways and about ready to turn sunny side up. Almost there. A bit more lifting back here with the chain hoist. And then we can let this line here, this lifting line, we can start belaying that corner of the boat down. Here we are right side up and level. but still suspended completely in the air. At no point has the boat touched the ground. Here is the cart at the bow. It's rotated 90 degrees with both 2x4s on one end to account for the curvature of the bottom. You can just make out the one and a half inch thick keel running down here and it rests nicely on the cart. All four wheels are on the ground. The aft carts were placed under each aft corner. I think it's time to remove these temporary braces here and here and here. So let's do it. 
Ah, much nicer. Look at that nice open boat. I love, I love how that bow sweeps up. It's exaggerated because I have the back half of the boat pretty level to the floor. It won't be that pronounced of a rocker up front, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like it's ready to attack the sea. Well, that's all, folks, until the next episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been fun for you. I hope it encourages you to build your own boat, and God bless you.